and they're off for the Terry Biddlecombe National Hunt Chase for amateur riders. Four miles ahead of them, and Beeves is the first to begin. And Merlin's wish the grey out wide, followed by, according to Trev, who rather hit the first fence. And Tiep at the back of the field was also just a little awkward and held up at the back of the field, is living next door. They go towards fence number two. Beeves on the inside will have the lead. He jumps that one very big. Herdsman towards the outside also gave that plenty of daylight, but they're all safely over the second of the 25 fences. They cross over the course now and go towards fence number three. Beeves on the inside will lead over that by a couple of lengths. And once again, all 15 are safely over. So it is Beeves and Richard Harding who leads them now on the descent to Merlin's Wish and Roger Quinlan racing in second, according to Trev in third, and then Herdsman to the outside in the green and yellow quarters in fourth position. Midnight Prayer is racing in fifth, around the outside the maroon and white of Rogue Angel, and then towards the inside as they straighten up into the home straight is American Spin, a couple of lengths away, sees Fox Rock racing alongside at the moment Milborough as they come towards fence number four. Milborough is being followed by Shut the Front Door and then towards the inside Shotgun Paddy as they get over that next plain fence. Still towards the rear of the field, Adrenaline Flight who's towards the outside of Living Next Door. And as they make the run on towards the next, it is Sun Tiep at the back of the field. Going over the fifth, the front door wasn't terribly high at that fence. The one who's taking a very keen hold is, according to Trev, between horses, and now he's almost pulling his way through to share the lead with Beeves, who was towards the inside. So it's Beeves and, according to Trev, and then in third position, Merlin's Wish. Then towards the inside, Firm Order in the black and green, falling, followed then by Midnight Prayer as they get over the next fence. Midnight Prayer's rider just went to the buckle end, but not a serious error. On now towards the fence, which will be the last in a couple more circuits, and Beeves leads them over it, and they all stream over it with Suntiep last in the hands of Patrick Mullins. So all 15 have safely jumped the first seven fences of the Terry Biddlecombe National Hunt Chase, and the leader is Beeves on the inside of calling to Trev Racing in second. Merlin's Wish is in third. Firm Order in fourth. Rogue Angel out wide, followed by Midnight Prayer, and then Herdsman, and then American Spin on the inside of Fox Rock. Shut the front door in the golden green hoops is next, followed towards the inside by Milborough as they make the descent now on towards the first in the back straight. Shotgun Paddy is next in the field, followed towards the inside by Living Next Door, and then Adrenaline Flight and Suntiep still at the back of the field. And Fox Rock made a mistake at fence number nine. Not a serious one, but just lost a couple of places as they move on now towards the water jump, which is the tenth. According to Trev, will have the lead to Beeves and Rogue Angel. Out a little wider was Herdsman, who's making a little bit of progress now on this section of the course. And then Firm Order, who's towards the inside. Midnight Prayer is just stalking the leading group. And now getting closer is Shotgun Paddy as they get over that open ditch. And they were all safely over. Adrenaline Flight still last but one. And Suntiep, unhurried by Patrick Mullins, is still last of the 15. Over the next, the 12th. Herdsman on the outside, and down there is Merlin's Wish. Merlin's Wish was the faller at fence number 12. Horses very quickly up on its feet as they make the run now across the top end of the course and on now towards the open ditch, and also jockey Roger Quinlan is up on his feet OK. Beeves and Herdsman, the first two over that ditch, followed by Rogue Angel in third, and the one who hit that fence on the outside, just who was getting closer, was Shotgun Paddy, who just trailed his hind legs through that fence. So now they begin to make the descent. On now towards fence number 14 of the 25, and the halfway point in the Terry Biddlecombe National Hunt Chase. And it is Beeves who leads the way. In second position is Herdsman, two northern raiders, followed then by the Irish runner Rogue Angel towards the outside. Firm order sticks to the inner of according to Trev and then a shotgun paddy who's creeping closer alongside Fox Rock now as they come to this downhill fence. American Spin is through on the inside. He's also trying to get closer as they got over that fence and they're all safely over. So making the run now on a long rich run towards the first in the home straight. These will be fences 15 and 16 once they come in line for home with still over a circuit to go. And it's now Rogue Angel 
Angel and Stephen Clements moving up around the outside and takes the lead to Beeves, who's now racing in second, Erzman in third. Firm order on that one's inside, according to Trev, and then the hoops of American spin. Next is Midnight Prayer and Frox Rock, who's in the yellow colours, and then on the outside, Shotgun Paddy, and American spin hit that one really hard. A very bad mistake there. Did well not to lose any real momentum as they go over the fence, which will be the last in a circuit's time in the National Hunt Chase, and they're all still safely over, so still they we have 14 of the 15 who set out are still in this with a circuit to go. And the roll call is led by Rogue Angel on the outside of Beeves on the inside, racing in second. Herdsman is in third and firm order in fourth. According to Trev on the outside in fifth, and then Midnight Prayer is in sixth. American Spin is in seventh. Fox Rock took that one in eighth. Shut the front door in tenth position. Made a very bad mistake there. He was racing just in behind Milborough as they made that turn to go down the back straight. Also improving Living Next Door, who's towards the inside and still he's yet to let the handbrake off Sun Tiep still sitting chilly at the back of the field they go over the next plane fence the first one down the back and again shut the front door was not fluent also a little ponderous was Milborough as they crossed over that fence so they go now towards the water jump it will be fence number 19 and it will be Rogue Angel Herzman on the outside and Midnight Prayer American Spin made yet another mistake he's blundered at one or two fences in the last mile or so as they go now towards the open ditch fence number 20 Beeves on the inside of Firm, Order, Rogue, Angel and Midnight Prayer. Fox Rock hit that fence hard. According to Trev, made a shuddering mistake as they climb the hill, going on now towards the 21st. So it is Rogue, Angel between horses. Midnight Prayer on the outside. A mistake there by Shotgun Paddy. Firm Order also just wrapped that fence as now they make the turn on towards the final ditch. And this will be the fourth from home in the Terry Biddlecombe National Hunt Chase. And it is Rogue, Angel who's got the lead. Midnight Prayer on the outside will take it in second. Beeves is hanging on in there with Fox Rock on the inside, then Shotgun Paddy. Now the golden green hoops have shut the front door. Is getting closer for Nina Carberry with around the outside American Spin trying to improve and then also just trying to make a bit of ground now uh, after these as they go into the turn is living next door as they make the run now down the hill. Three more fences to take. So it is Rogue Angel and Stephen Clements out in front to Fox Rock who's looming large and so too on the outside is Shotgun Paddy. Then American Spin, who's running absolutely huge. Between horses is Milborough. Living next door is towards the inside as Beeves now begins to lose ground. Herdsman has been pulled up as they got over the third last. And it is now on the inside, Rogue Angel. Between horses is Midnight Prayer. And on the outside is Shotgun Paddy. And these are now the first three as they race down into the dip. Fox Rock is now being driven along in fourth position to the inside, living next door. And then shut the front door as they make the turn. Two more fences to take in the National Hunt Chase. And it is now Midnight Prayer, who goes for home on the outside. Rogue Angel to the inside rail. Living next door is still staying on with Fox Rock. And a bad mistake then to be stem behind them was shut the front door. They race down towards the final fence. And it is now Shotgun Paddy on the outside. Midnight Prayer between horses. The better jump over on the far side. Living next door. These are then being followed by Adrenaline Flight. They went inside the final furlong now. It's Midnight Prayer and Joshua Newman out in front. Shotgun Paddy is putting in a relentless challenge on the outside. Racing's alive. Midnight Prayer may have held on to take the National Hunt chase over Shotgun Paddy and Suntiev, who absolutely flew up the hill but was given too much to do, and then adrenaline flight. Midnight Prayer has won for Alan King and Josh Newman at 8 to 1. Second is Shotgun Paddy, who made a series of errors all the way around for Derek O'Connor and Emma Lavelle. And third is Suntiep, given the most patient of patient rides by Patrick Mullins for his father and the trainer, Willie Mullins. But the winner is Midnight Player, another success in this race for Alan King, who does well with the horses he targets at this race. And this horse has jumped largely pretty well in a race that was characterised by many horses making several mistakes, and that is probably what has cost shot and caddy the race. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, first of all, it's been a really frustrating year, hasn't it, for Alan King? This should be a, a big win for them, and I thought the horse, of all the principals, jumped just about best. Certainly I saw less mistakes from him as several of the others. I thought Shotgun Paddy is, is a phenomenal ride by Derek O'Connor to get him where he got. I hardly saw a good jump in the last six or seven when it matters as well. The horse kept coming back for more, and he's 